This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by T-Mobile. As you guys know, we are big fans of port checking, what are you doing? <laughs> Checking port 110, I just make the joke about us popping our mail because <laughs> you guys send us emails, we answer them. And you're just being a freak again. <laughs> yeah, I may be. Yeah. I had peeps, lots of them. Can I, so good. Can I do something about this? Can I, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll Drugs, get into like... Woo! Just yeah. kidding. All right. Peeps. Pe oh, peeps. What do you think I said? Never mind. Let's get into the emails. <laughs> I said peeps. What's the first email? Sugar. Okay, fine. Uh, td 8 F four. How how do you say that name? <laughs> uh, t Ted eight for, for uh, f I don't know. Ted eight fur said, "I'm going to be purchasing like an Android phone pretty soon. <laughs> Two prefer, <laughs> preferably one with a QWERTY keyboard, of course. Any suggestions about a model that you guys may have researched? I'm going to be using it for similar purposes: tethered Wi-Fi, pineapple serving out packets, except with a di different router than what I modded." I saw Darren had the Galaxy 551. Would you recommend it as a solid phone? Has speed or memory limited you in the things that you've wanted to do, such as VNC, Telnet, SSH, and other fun stuff? I have a budget of about 500 bucks. Whoa. Yeah. But I am veering towards well, the Galaxy phone because of the nice price. Okay, well, VNC, SSH, that kind of fun stuff, no problems whatsoever. It's the, everything else that annoys the crap out of me with this phone. But then again, like, <laughs> like any phone, um, after a while, the honeymoon's over. I don't know, at least that's been my experience. Uh, before this, my Android phone was just the original Droid. Uh, but if you're buying a, a, an Android phone for a keyboard, you're that special use case. You're that person that wants to drop into a shell, and in that sense, I love this keyboard because you know, right here I've got I got tilde, I've got backslash, I got pipe, I got colon, I got semicolon, I got like all of the special characters that you need. Like try finding a pipe. Say, you know, pull out your iPhone, and I want you to type in a pipe without going through like six yeah. menus first, Don't right? Um, so the keyboard's not bad. I think if that's the use case, then it comes down to the specs. Uh, I would also check to make sure that it's going to be easy to root. Your background moves. Sorry. Yeah. Well, that's what happens. I think this thing is slow. It's gimped. It's my experience with it's been crap as far as the updates are concerned. If you're going to run your own ROM, maybe that's not going to be that much of an issue for you. Um, I have had good success with like Bugless Beast and um, and uh, Cyanogen mod. Um, but other than that, I got to say, like the only phone that I was thinking about, ooh, maybe, is the uh, Droid Three. It's got a, oh, an improved keyboard. That pretty new, huh? Yeah, it's got an improved keyboard. I, I don't know. After having gone to the Samsung keyboard, now I like this. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, that's what's up. I mean, if you're going to be doing it, but no, to answer your question, this particular phone, if I haven't had any problems doing SSH, VNC, remote desktop, uh, any of that fun stuff. It did root easy. I do have the Wi-Fi tether on here. Cool. And in that sense, it runs great. It's just that oh, you know, it can be slow at times. I need to hack my phone again so I can tether. Yeah. Benjamin D. wrote, I love your show. Thank you, Ben. However, I noticed that you say backslash USR, yeah, which that's means user. Front it, means, it also really means Unix system resources. You know, this is so funny because this is a repeat of season seven when I realized that. And for some reason, I am in the horrible habit of saying user when I mean slash USR really? instead of Unix system resource or... There's a couple other generic, basically that's like a backronym though. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it originally was supposed to mean user and then later they were like, no, that's a bad idea. Users are in slash home or whatever. The, the architecture or the hierarchy changes based on distro and it can get a little confusing. And yes, I have the problem where I always say user when I mean, I'm Aww. not going to stop and say user. Okay, I'll right? just say USR. <laughs> U-S-S-R, huh? Uh, U-S-S-R. No. 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 Okay. Well, stay tuned because we'll be right back with this week's TechnoLess photo and the trivia after a very quick break. T-Mobile's great selection of tablets, laptop sticks, and their new mobile hotspot give you the freedom to stay connected with high-speed internet on the go. Affordable high-speed internet, where and when you want, without overages. Mobile broadband data plans start at just $29.99 per month, and current T-Mobile Voice of customers can save an extra 20%. Create your own personal hotspot on the go with the T-Mobile 4G mobile hotspot. Get high-speed internet on up to five Wi-Fi devices, laptops, tablets, music players, gaming devices, and more using a single mobile broadband connection. 
4G capable with theoretical speeds of up to 21 megabits per second. With the mobile hotspot from T-Mobile, you can share the power of America's largest 4G network. T-Mobile provides mobile broadband services that allow on-the-go wireless. Just plug in the Rocket 4G laptop stick into your laptop and get high-speed internet on the go with convenient access through T-Mobile's blazing fast 4G mobile broadband network. Well, that just about wraps up this senioritis episode of Hack 5. Did I say senioritis? <laughs> yes, you did. I might have. It kind of makes sense. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But we have, we have a technology photo. It's a pretty good one it's to take, right? Part. Yes, this is from Oliver. He sends in a few photos of his lovely parrot and lovable parrot, Luna, who loves his iPhone, especially with the Hack 5 logo. Nice. He said that she loves pressing the home button, so it's really hard to get a picture with the Hack 5 logo before it disappears. Oops. Oh, such a cute parrot. Of course, send yours over to feedback at hack5.org. <laughs> We'd love seeing them. Yes, we do. All right, trivia. I Trivia. think I know the answer to this one. Oh, do you? Yeah, last it was, week. It was Come an on. Easier one. Yeah. So last week's trivia question was: Europe's biggest annual hacker conference is called what? The Chaos Computer Club. Chaos Communication. Basically, yeah, Congress? it's the CCC Chaos yeah. Communication Congress, Chaos Computer Club, whatever. And this week's question is: The science fiction novel by Philip K. Dick depicted an alternate reality where telepaths are normal, and a mysterious can product is the answer to all of their problems. Do you know that one? No, I don't. I read that book, and it was awesome. Oh, it now I know the so answer. so weird. So you can answer at hack5.org slash trivia to win some sweet swag. And now we got to wrap up. Yeah, so bye, everybody. We'll see you guys <laughs> next week. Be sure to subscribe but on first, everything. Hack5.org, so yes. subscribe. You got to subscribe, iTunes, YouTube. I want to see us on the front page of YouTube again. I mean, iTunes, because that was really cool. Remember, like, back in the day? We're on the front page. It was oh, so we? awesome. Yes. It's been so long since I've started iTunes. I, I try to, I and then it's all like. Rawr, rawr. Don't kill me. Yeah. But I still use it. Yeah. And you can always <laughs> support the show <laughs> here as am, well. Here I am telling you, like, subscribe on iTunes, and I'm all like, yeah, iTunes. You know what I, I mean? I use though. it. Hey, it, it automatically updates all the podcasts for me. It's great. Yeah, you know? there's a WGET script for that. There Just is. saying. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. This is the Windows show. Yeah. Right. Yeah, iTunes. <laughs> Windows. Get your Hack 5 goodies at hackshop.com. We have the new Ninja Star, which is great. The hoodies, perfect time to get those since school is starting August and September. It's going to start getting chilly outside. Which means it's going to start getting warmer in Australia, so we're going to need like a, right. like a tank top or something. You now. guys need to get the baseball caps uh -huh. because those are good for the sunshine. There you go. <laughs> Reasons to support us, which we like. <laughs> or you could just support us because you like us. Yeah, I don't care. which is... <laughs> Why you go over to hack5.org, so subscribe. It's the easy and free way to support what you love. We also have some brand new hack tips in the making, so make sure you check out those. They come on every Monday and Friday. Yeah. If that's correct. That's absolutely correct. So we're alternating because I'm doing a series on Wi Fi and you're doing like all sorts of other stuff. And then Jason Windows comes stuff. in and he's all like, hey, Jason's it's doing like cell phone stuff. Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> Which was very handy, actually. I like Jason's segment a lot. Yeah, yeah. And That's you can good. always follow us on Twitter, Facebook. We're now on Google Plus, so if you haven't gone on to there well, yet, we are get on. though. We yeah. are on Google. Hack Plus. Hack Five isn't yet. Hack Five is not because they haven't done the yet. businesses quite yet. Yeah. But yeah, you can find Darren and me. Just uh, search for our names, and you can find us on there. And we have a party coming up. We do. I'm thinking it's going to have to get pushed to the beginning of September instead of the end of <laughs> August. I'm just, what? what? You just, you know, uh, look at the scheduling here. IPad. No. Well, do you want to have it on a, like a Wednesday? I no. didn't think so. Okay. August is jam-packed. So. That's true. We have DEF CON coming up. Yeah. So if you're at DEF CON, make sure to uh, that will be our follow us on Twitter. Six-year anniversary at DEF CON on the 5th, August Aww. 5th. Yeah. Wow. This is going to be my first year at DEF CON, so I am stoked. Yeah. Don't bring any Wi-Fi here. All right, cool. Well, with all that said, uh, we will see you guys next week. Um, see you then. All right. Trust your technolust. Trust your technolust. I'm, you gotta say it like I'm you way mean out it. of it this say week. Say it like you mean it. Uh, Trust <laughs> your technolust. No. What? Ew. No. Gross. On Hack 5, trivia breaks you.